All right, what's up guys? Uh, in today's video, we're going to be finally finishing out this little Halloween uh, series that we did. We had the Max Shine Reaper Polisher. That'll be linked down in the description below. Um, we, will also, we also had the Adams Pumpkin Spice Car Wash Soap, as well as the, the Adams Unicorn Soaps, which were really cool to change color, all that kind of stuff. Um, also linked down below. And today we're gonna be finishing it out with the rest of their pumpkin spice line. Um, so what we have here, guys, is we have a detail spray. The detail spray is pretty all-inclusive. It looks like you can use it as a detail spray, a clay lube, a uh, drying aid, so you can wash your car as it's wet, spray this on there, it'll help lubricate everything and kind of make the water beat up a little bit. And you can dry it a little bit faster with less chance of marring the paint. This is based off of Adam's detail spray which is their number one selling product. So it's just the pumpkin spice edition of that detail spray. So it does state, it's the cornerstone of our product line. Detail spray is slick, high gloss, and gives nearly any finish a just wax look. 110% guaranteed to blow your socks off. And the scent will, be put, will put a smile on your face. Safe on paint, glass, chrome, fiberglass, plastic, aluminum, etc. Used to remove dust, light dirt, and fingerprints, and boost protection. Aids in the drying process, maintains a just detailed look and feel, excellent for use as a lubricant for Adam's Visco clay bar, blah, blah, blah. So that's number one. We will be using this product on my 1969 Fairlane right behind me. Just again, it's clean, um, but I'll be able to test the, the, see if it has any streaking, how slick it feels on the paint and all that kind of good stuff. So we'll also check out kind of the, the trigger spray that it comes with to make sure it's not terrible. Uh, next up we have the Adams Pumpkin Spice Edition interior detailer. Now this stuff, um, it, we'll just read real quick. Uh, your one-step solution for a clean, dressed, and fully revitalized factory looking interior. Adams interior de detailer received, re uh, received a modern update to include Microban. Microban is a powerful technology that actively limits the growth of bacteria on surfaces and continues to work around the clock long after application. Now it's similar to a product that I had heard about a long time ago. Um, basically that kind of technology, as long as it's, I, I guess, it's, what do you call it? photoreactive, something like that. As long as sunlight is hitting it, it's continuing, continually fighting off bacteria. So really cool. Um, we'll be checking that one out. This one we'll be using on my uh, little update on my uh, 1997 Forerunner that I have outside. I haven't done anything with in quite some time, so that'll be fresh to the, to the channel again. And last but not least, we will be using the same deal, Adam's Pumpkin Spice uh, Tire Shine. Now again, guys, these do all share the pumpkin spice edition label. Um, now with the soap that we did, it said pumpkin spice and then on the website it says it's an apple cider scent. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if they're supposed to be different scents or not. Basically spray it on, wipe it in. If you want more shine to it, do another layer. That's it, super basic, it's tire shine, right? So again, we'll be checking that one out. Let's go ahead and open these up and s take a little sniff to see how they smell. I don't know. I don't know if that's pumpkin spice or not, um, but I don't like it. <laughs> that one I don't like. This one, let's go to the interior detailer. Again, I don't know if that's pumpkin spice, but it smells good and it may come out more once you aerate it, you know, you actually spray it and may, the fragrance may change a little bit. So we'll keep that in mind. We'll check that out. And the last one, the quick detailer. Smells fantastic. That one smells super good. Um, again, I don't know if it's pumpkin spice, but they all do smell like Halloween, the fall season to me. Um, all those kind of kind of scents you get from from that. So let's go ahead and start off with the detail spray on the Fairlane. Let's go. All right, guys. So here it is. We're gonna go ahead and look at the trigger sprayer first. Two positions of lock, and then we have a spray pattern. I don't know if you can see that. And then we also have a stream pattern, depending on what you want. I don't know why you'd ever want the stream, to be perfectly honest, but we're switching it over to the spray pattern. Now I do have just a couple of basic microfiber towels here, nothing crazy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and spray it, check out the sprayer and see how it works. All right, so we get a little bit of a drip right after. Um, so basically you pull the trigger, it works great, and then there's a little bit of residual drip after that, but nothing, nothing crazy. 
Now it is colored, it is coming out orange. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can zoom you in, into that real quick. So as you can see there, it does come out orange. Um, uh, it's more product that you need for that one little spot, but I'm just trying to show you guys how it lays down. Now, with that much product, you're running the risk of streaking, but let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna take one wipe. Now that's one wipe. I'm just gonna let, there's a little bit of streak to it. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if the camera's pe picking that up. I'm just gonna flip the towel and run over one more time to simulate the effect of wiping it up and then buffing it out. And that is perfect, guys. It's leaving no streaking behind. It's doing a fantastic job. And uh, I really like it. Smells good while I'm using it. Um, now, slickness wise, I'm a little bit biased on this. So I typically use, as my quick detailer, I use uh, ceramic detail spray from Technician's Choice. I'll link that down in the description for you guys as well. And this stuff feels great. It's just that that ceramic detail spray is so slick after you buff it out. And I'm not getting the same slickness as I was with, as I do with that product. Um, that product also just does a phenomenal job of not streaking and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so definitely not as slick as that, but it does a great job. It flashes off nicely. I'm not getting any streaks. It seems to do a good job of taking up fingerprints. I'm gonna add a couple fingerprints to it. They're there. I don't know, again, I'm sorry, you guys can't see this, but just take my word for it. Yeah, they're gone and we're good to go. Picks up the residue and everything nice and easily and works great. So if you're a fan of the good scented products, pick this up because this actually does smell fantastic. As soon as you start using it, it like it, you pick up the scent right away. Makes the detailing experience a little more enjoyable, especially and gets you kind of especially into that little festive Halloween fall feel. Thanksgiving's coming up, it's all good. So fantastic product, I like this a lot. Again, it is based off of Adam's Detail Spray, which is a fantastic product. They just added the scent and changed the color of it and it's fantastic. So thumbs up on this one, guys. This will be linked down below for you guys so you guys can order it if you want. Um, and let's move on to, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside. I'm gonna pick, pull up my Forerunner. We'll use the interior detailer and the tire shine on that and see how we like it. All right guys, so here we are in my 97 Forerunner. Now, I don't take very good care of this thing. It sits mostly outside of my shop. Every time I open the door, a lot of dust goes in, so this will be a good one. So I'm gonna hook up my GoPro right now. I'm gonna film some of this stuff so you guys can see uh, just how dirty it really is. Um, it's perfect for an interior detailer. It doesn't need a lot of heavy lifting. It's just very dusty and dirty. So we're gonna be using, obviously, the Pumpkin Spice Edition. Uh, interior detailer spray from Adams. We're also going to be using, I prefer these guys. So these are from Max Shine. These are the ESS or ever so soft brushes. As you can see, they are crazy soft. Like, I don't know if they're like based off of makeup brushes or what, but they are very, very soft. You can get a, this is the longer one and then you can get a shorter one as well. Um, but I love these things. On this car, it's not such a big deal because it's just kind of uh, satin black plastic. But on a lot of higher end vehicles, especially like you're using actually, or even more modern day vehicles, they have that kind of piano black finish. And you, if you use a regular brush or anything, it scratches it very, very easily. So you wanna use something super, super soft like this brush, and it does a fantastic job. So we're gonna be using that. And last but not least, we're gonna be using some of the uh, detailing swabs from Max Shine as well. Uh, let me go ahead and open these guys up so I can show you. And they're basically flat versioned, uh, versions of a um, cotton swab and they have multiple different sizes. Let me just pull out a couple of them for you guys here. So some of them are just single-sided. As you can see, this one's kind of a cone shape. Um, then other ones are double-sided, like so. And then you have the larger swabbed ones as well. So these are fantastic for getting in places like the vents and things like that. I'll typically start off with the detail spray and the brush, and I'll come in with these and fine tune it. So, um, but anyways, guys, Hopping into the GoPro, let's take a look. So guys, as you can see, there's tons and tons of dirt kind of all the way through all, pretty much everything. It's just it's just been residual buildup over, over time of it not being taken care of and parked outside. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Basically, I will typically not spray a, anything in the vehicle um, because I don't want the overspray of that 
spray burst to go everywhere. So I usually don't spray in. However, when I'm doing the vents themselves, I will. I'll get in close and I'll do a couple sprays. I'll take my brush, I'll get in there with the brush. This is also a nice time to have uh, some compressed air because now you can go in compressed air and blow all that out. But we're not operating with that right now. We're just using the tools that we have here. So we're gonna wipe all this up. It's all good except for the inner pieces of all these vents because it's kind of a pain to get in there with all these. This is where the, the brush did a lot of good in the beginning and kind of cleaned all that stuff up. But now I'm going to go ahead and take one of the flat larger pieces from the detailing swabs. And I actually have, see, here's two different sizes. One of them is a coarser, finer material. The other one's thicker and softer. So that's gonna be more absorbent. So I'm using that one. I'm gonna go through and just fine tune all these. You can already see all the stuff that it's still picking up. And we are all done with that. So I'm gonna take the GoPro again and film the after for you guys so you can see what it looks like now. And it looks completely restored basically to new. Looks nice and clean all the way inside the vents. Everything is good to go. This is what really separates uh, some detailers from others when doing all these little fine tuned things like that. Really makes a big difference. All right guys, so, so far the interior detail is working fantastic. I apologize if I'm getting a little out of focus or blown out right now. The, I'm outside and the sun's coming out. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm just going to do a quick spray onto my microfiber towel. And we're just going to... Yeah, it smells more like pumpkin spice to me now that I'm spraying it than, I, than it did when I just spray, smelled it out of the bottle. So it smells great. Um, now I'm just going to use it to spray it on and then use it to absorb all of this loose dust and dirt and stuff um, off the main panels of the vehicle. And it's doing a fantastic job picking everything up nicely, not leaving any streaking behind. Um, and darkening it up, giving it a nice kind of factory finish. Now last but not least, I'm just gonna do this part really quickly. As you can see, there's a bunch of little tight areas. So same thing guys, I'm just gonna use a controlled spray right in there. I'm gonna take my brush and get all this stuff agitated and lift it out of there. And another factor with this brush that it's, since it's so soft and pliable, it really forms into all these areas really, really well. So you're actually getting into all the little tight spots because it just falls right into them. All right, now I'll take my towel and mop all that up. I right, got the gunk off the buttons or off the uh, little pull tabs. Now we do have a slight bit uh, of stuff still inside that little crack. So again, I'm just gonna take one of the MaxShine cotton swabs, detailing swabs, and just wipe that right out. And there it is. Flip it over, just do a little buff out, and we're good to go. So now you can see that part is completely clean and perfect. All right, guys, so now last but not least, we're going to go ahead and use the Adams Pumpkin Spice Tire Shine. Now, I did wipe the tire down. Um, again, the car hasn't been driven um, very much, so it is dirty on the wheel, quite dirty, but the tire is not bad at all. So we're just going to go, be, go ahead and doing this. Um, now, because this is an all-terrain tire, um, I'm going to spray it directly onto the tire and then rub it in. You don't always want to do that, especially after you've detailed the car, over spraying it on the paint. You don't want that. Uh, also, it can get on the wheel, so you can wipe that up afterwards, but if you don't have to, then don't. Um, it just makes it easier if you don't have to. So, um, actually, let's not spray it directly on. Let's try it straight onto the pad and I'll rub it in. Now, same exact trigger sprayer as the other two items. So, as you can see, once you get it primed, This one seems to work a little better, maybe just because of the consistency of the product itself. There it is, let's go ahead and rub it in. Now again, guys, I'm not a fan of the scent of this one. I don't know if they were going for pumpkin spice on this or if it's something else, but it's just not my favorite. 
However, the product itself spreads very, very, very nicely. Seems to rub in very, very, very nicely. Now I went a little bit heavy on that first application, um, but let's get it rubbed in and then we'll see how it looks. Alrighty guys, as you can see, my wheel is filthy, right? So don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to that. But the coverage of the tire dressing went on really nicely. It was easy to spread. Felt like it absorbed really, really nicely. It's streak free and looks fantastic. So it looks great. Thumbs up to that product. Now the smell, I'm not a fan of personally, but the product itself did fantastic. All right guys, so that does it. This is the conclusion of our three part kind of Halloween fall series of detailing products. Um, just a quick recap on these guys. Tire Shine, now all these products from Adams, these are based off of some of their top sellers, right? Your detail spray, your interior detail, your Tire Shine. They just did a pumpkin spice edition for the holidays, which is super cool. So Tire Shine worked fantastic, really good product. Smell for me, I didn't like it, but that's, you know, everyone's nose is different. Um, whoops, interior detailer works amazing, fantastic product, smells good out of the bottle. Um, Make sure, having the right tools though with your interior detailer is always a plus. So check out those um, uh, detailing brushes and little swabs from Max Shine. Other companies make some great brushes as well. Uh, I'll link some down below that are available on Amazon. I'll also link to the ones on Max Shine's website. If you use code I'm Josh V15, you get 15% off. So keep that in mind. And last one, guys, was the detail spray. This was probably my favorite of the three, at least scent-wise. It smells fantastic, did a great job, really cool, really great product. Now, would I buy this personally? Um, yeah, for, for this time of season, I want that, that scent. Yes, because the scent is, is great. Um, as a quick detailer, I, 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 I'm ju I just love the quick detail spray, uh, ceramic detail spray from Technician's Choice. It's cost-effective enough to use as a quick detail spray but it also adds protection, makes it super slick. It's SiO2 infused. It's a fantastic product. So I'm gonna link that in the description for you guys uh, as well. That's my favorite, quick detail, quick wax ceramic. I say ceramic because it's a ceramic detail spray. It's not a full-blown ceramic, obviously, but there are some properties that, are, that mimic a full-blown ceramic. The slickness of it, hydrophobic properties, it's great. So with that said, I would like to commend Adams as well as Max Shine. Um, for doing this, right? So this was just three parts because there's not a ton of products out there that are geared towards a specific season. Max Shine doing that whole Reaper series of that polisher is super, super cool. Um, and then Adam's doing a pumpkin spice line of uh, interior detailer, tire shine, exterior uh, quick detailer, and a car soap, as well as their unicorn car soaps from the past. Really cool. I, I'm a big fan. Um, I, I, I think it's really cool when companies do something a little bit different to kind of freshen up your detailing arsenal. So that's it, guys. I um, hope that helps you. Please make sure to like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and we'll see you on the next one.